Jared, you there, brother? The, yeah, what's up? Okay, Peachy is not a regular cat, okay? I mean, at 17, she was at the vets 11 months ago about to be put to sleep. She was a skeleton. She was fucked up. Now she's getting pissed that we have take after take, and she's like, meow, and she's getting out, but she's in perfect health. And you know what? That spells metaphorical doom for the University of Notre Dame. Oh, yeah, because you know what? Jared just asked me this question. Did you or did you not? Ask me. Did you really not rape that girl? Did you really not rape that girl? Yeah, okay, and because and, he was thinking that I, that I did, and it's like this. There should be a movie made uh, showing Notre Dame's attorneys calling my attorney, Chet Zawala, and telling him, you know what? We just advised Notre Dame to settle. Okay, you know what? We told them to give up because it's obvious. I mean, they probably didn't say this, but uh, the fucking evidence was overwhelming. I was innocent, okay? I mean, the fact that they kicked me out for something that was so easily defensible was almost fucking criminal, okay? Um, seriously, they charged me with attempting to rape this bitch, okay? And what actually happened was uh, I was in my room, and the door was locked, and my hand was on her pussy. And uh, we were going to have sex, and so that meant the stereo was off because you couldn't be in a room with a girl in a door lock because the only people that can fuck at Notre Dame are priests and brothers, right? Okay? And uh, they were having none of that. could have got me kicked out, dude. And so I'm about to get sex, and you know what? It would have turned into a Mike Tyson-type fucking scenario because uh, they would have charged me with rape. And what happened? Knock, 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 knock at the door. The rector of my hall, a priest, goes, Dan, Dan! Okay, are you in there? And he listened. You know how you can tell when they're leaning? Okay, and they're there. And we were silent. We were frozen, man. Okay, you know what? That certainly broke the pussy spell. But uh, what we did is we got dressed, and I walked her down to the bus, and I gave her a kiss goodnight. And you know what? She went back to St. Mary's. This uh, uh, female factory, uh, it's a factory for wives, for Notre Dame students, is what it is. Okay, and it turns out her older sister was roommates with Patty Noble, okay? Now, the girl that I was with, her name's Patsy McGowan, and movies will be made about this bitch trying to ruin her life when I'm rich from making pure H2O. And, and the funny thing is, you know, what I'm doing is I just washed water, okay? I added energy to stevia water, and boom, you know what? You're going to see all the shit float at the top. You get all that stuff out, and it does amazing shit. It makes it so I can lay on my back for 16 days after shoulder surgery and eat like a pig and I haven't gained any weight. I'm still looking fairly fucking lean and ripped. And you know what's amazing is uh, I bet you I had the fastest rehab on shoulder surgery ever. And then what I'm going to do is continue my quest to get Stevia famous. But what I'm doing here, Jared, is I'm trying to start a race between people that love Notre Dame and people that hate them. Okay? And I'll tell you this, if people that do not like Notre Dame help get Stevia famous and go to znaturalfoods.com and get a pound of Stevia, I think it's $44.99 plus tax. And you know what that equates into? Uh, $90 would cure people out there from six tumors and 62 pounds in four months like it did for my Uncle Bob Johnson. I mean, this shit's magic. And what it's going to do, it's going to give you the money, Jared, to, are you still there? Okay, have, where are we at on time? We're not, not even five minutes yet. Okay, what it's going to do is give me more than enough fucking time and money to make movies. You know what, I will show a movie with uh, Notre Dame's calling, uh, Notre Dame's attorneys calling Chester Wallet, my attorney, telling him to settle, uh, that they had advised their client to settle, and then what Notre Dame did. Uh, who can imagine? They didn't do it. They didn't do the right thing. I wonder if it was Father Hesper pushing Okay, or shoving. You know what? <laughs> uh, I'm talking about the the presidents of Notre Dame. Monk Malloy, Father Hesper. You know what? I will show a movie, and it will have gay porno actors, okay, playing your parts. And uh, it's going to be a free-for-all. And uh, I'm wondering where Dan Quinn and his name fit in there and get fucked. Because you know what? It seems like everybody else is, you know, uh, little boys, assholes all across the United States. And, uh, yeah, it's nothing nice. And, again, we come hey, back to the fact minutes, that... Man. What's that? Five minutes. Five minutes? Okay. Then we come back to the fact that Notre Dame's attorneys told you to do the right thing and settle. I didn't fucking uh, try to rape that girl. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, Patsy McGowan's uh, older sister was roommates of this beep 
that uh, Patty Noble, okay, who the year before lied and said that I fucking punched her and drilled her 17 feet down a hall. Now, uh, what did you say about that, Jared? I, I think your punch would have killed her. Oh, right. there you go, man. I mean, seriously. And my girlfriend, okay, her testimony was that I was standing at the toilet. I was taking a piss. And we were talking about Patty because we just had an altercation. So if it was in a court of law, dude, uh, we have a verbal altercation um, in the hallway near the bedroom. And I leave. I extricate myself. And I try to fucking uh, seek haven, okay? Seek safety. And Patty has a key to the fucking door of the bathroom, okay? And comes in. And you know what? She attacks me, dude. And I backhand her off, but I get kicked out for two semesters? It, it, it doesn't fucking figure. And then, Jared, seriously, the play, okay? Is the play special? Do you think I should have gotten in trouble for the play? Or how about this? Better question, Jared. What do you think was in Lou Holtz's fucking frame of mind when he demoted me to the fourth team for making that tackle? He, he, he was an idiot for doing that. Oh, well, there you go, man. Notre Dame history. And you know what? Do you think that if Lou Holtz... I mean, I should have been rewarded, don't you think? Yeah, for sure. That oh, fuck yeah. I mean, you know what? And if I'm rewarded, then people know me. And you know what? That play, if you heard it, they don't mention my name at all. The announcers up in the fucking stands, they don't say shit. As a matter of fact, when Dan Quinn comes into the game to replace Cedric Figaro, uh, they don't mention Dan Quinn's name. It's almost like there was this plan. That after the season was over, uh, Lou Holtz was going to kick me out the team for no reason, okay? To make room for Frank Stans. And you know what? The funny thing about it, man, is that fucking Lou Holtz actually made a lesser defense and still won a national championship. You know what he did? To fuck Dan yeah, Quinn over. Seven minutes. What's that? Seven minutes. Seven minutes? I, I, I got uh, seven minutes down. I got four minutes left? Yep. Okay. You know what? Lou Holtz actually kick Dan Quinn off the team for nothing, saying that I could be an All-American, okay? I just wasn't doing the little things that it took. And uh, you know what? Uh, he kicked Cedric Figaro out of this true rush in position, kicked him to the weak side linebacker spot because he was fast and he could run, and he made room for, uh, you still there? Yep. Okay, he made room for uh, Frank Stams, man, and, and fucking rush in. And funny thing, man, uh, Frank Stams, the first time I ran across him, he was a fullback. And he was weak like a bitch. And then they switched him to outside linebacker. And he did a couple of, uh, 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 what do they call them, the cycles of steroids. And uh, you know what? Boom. Next thing you know, he's in the fucking NFL. And uh, are you still there? Yep. Okay, because my phone's making noise, man. And you're my timer. Uh -huh. And I don't want to uh -huh. fuck it. And uh, how many more minutes do we have? Uh, about two and a half. Okay. You know what? Anyway, Frank. It's like this. People that like the University of Notre Dame, okay, what they should do is start going to uh, Stevia School, okay, 101 with the quickness and uh, paying it forward, passing it on, because Stevia makes your body perfect, okay? And uh, how it does it, it acts like cold fission in the body. You add Stevia to your body, and the energy just makes you purge. And uh, you shit up a storm for like five, uh, six days maybe, and then you start on a descent to... Damn near perfection. See, what people should keep in mind and realize is um, Dan Quinn looks like Dan Quinn did when he was like 18 years old, okay? Uh, but you should not look for, for perfection, okay? Think of Gumby and then take a blowtorch, okay, and hit him in the chest and start, start to melt a little bit and then stop it, okay? And it functions just like it ever did, okay? But it might not look like it, okay, because creatine, muscle pulls and shit like that. <laughs> but it's like this. I had shoulder surgery 16 days ago. And um, funny thing, I haven't taken but maybe uh, two showers since then. And you couldn't really tell. You can't, my forehead, it's not oily because I'm getting all that soap out. And uh, again, it refers back to Peachy isn't dead. Dan Quinn is lean and looking fairly ripply, even though he's been laying on the bed. How much? One minute. One minute? Uh, you want to do, can you go back to back, or are you just good for 11? Just for one, I'm good. Okay, just one, cool. Well, you know what? It's like this. Notre Dame, if you love them or you hate them, you should start to pay attention, because 
uh, in this race to get Stevia famous, uh, it could mean the reputation. If somebody that doesn't like Notre Dame actually helps to get this famous, um, what I'm going to do is show all seconds. those movies that I just talked about. And uh, Okay, I'm good. I, I see it. I'm at 17, 18. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, Lou Holtz. If you hadn't gotten me in trouble for the play. And, uh, you know, I'd actually been rewarded, just like Jared said. Do you think there might be a chance that I could have gone to the NFL? Oh, geez. Maybe, like, Cedric Figaro fucking said I should. You know what he said? I should go to the CFL and wreck that league and then come down because he knew that I could play because, you know, he'd seen it. Okay. I got it. You know what? Um, yeah. That's what he said. And, uh <laughs> You didn't do it, Lou. You kept me back, and you lied. And the University of Notre Dame, I'm going to tell their truth and ruin their reputation, man. And that's what I'm fitting to do.